So if you've ever been shopping for a pair of speakers and noticed that these speakers that you're looking at have a thousand watts and you've said to yourself, hey, this must be loudspeakers, a thousand watts. A, you would be wrong, but B, you're not alone because this is a very common misconception. Now, before I go any further, I got to disclose a few things. First of all, I'm not an electrical engineer or an audio engineer. I'm just a dumb mobile DJ. And I'll also say that there will be a few people who will probably put some more specs down here in the comment section. And you might not understand some of them. You might understand other things that people say. I'm not going to understand a lot of it because I'm just not that guy. I'm a dumb DJ. But I do know that watts does not equal power output. What watts is, is power consumption of the speakers themselves. So it's a unit of power. A watt is a unit of power. It's just kind of like a gallon of gas is a measurement of fuel that can be converted into power. So what do you do with gas? You put it in a car, right? When I was in high school, I had a 78 Thunderbird that wasn't really very fast, but it got seven miles to the gallon. Now, after I was single again in my early 30s, I had a Porsche 944 S2 that got 32 miles to the gallon. So although the Thunderbird consumed four times more fuel than the Porsche did, the Porsche was much faster and it used less fuel. So that's kind of the same thing with watts and power consumption of your speakers. It doesn't make them louder. It just means that they're taking a lot of power. But let's talk about that power for a minute. Have you ever seen the rating on a speaker where it says peak power, 2000 watts? What usually happens when there's a speaker like that is people will buy it and say, hey, I bought a 2000 watt speaker. It's loud, it's 2000 watts. It's peak power, 2000 watts. No, peak power is a theoretical number. And what the theory is, is if anything near 2000 watts went through that speaker for a fraction of a second, it might not blow up and catch on fire. Very theoretical. It's never been tested, but they're theorizing that, you know, maybe it would be okay for a split second. The only way any speaker that we use is going to get anywhere near 2000 watts to it is if lightning strikes it. And in that case, I guarantee you, it's going to catch on fire and it's not going to work anymore. I was working with John Krupa at RCF, I don't know, probably 10 years ago. We were at NAMM. They had one of the best sounding speakers I'd ever heard. It was an RCF Art Series 312A. And it was a bi-amped analog amplifier inside of the speaker. It was powered. It had a 50 watt amp going to the horn and it had a 300 watt amp going to the woofer, the 12 inch woofer. And they sounded amazing and they blew everything in their category out of the water. Now at the same time, QSC had just introduced the K series. They had the K12 at a thousand watts. The RCF blew that QSC out of the water all day long. It sounded better, it was much louder, the SPL was better, that sound pressure level, uh, higher dBs, decibels. But because QSC decided to go with this peak power of a thousand watts, which was just a theoretical number as a marketing tool, more people bought the QSC K12. And that's the game that's played by speaker companies. So when you're looking at speakers, Try to find something that says SPL, that's sound pressure level, and then look at the decibels. You might see 120 decibels, 123, 127. That is an indication of how loud something is. The watts, really for our purposes, pretty meaningless. The only time watts matters is if you're trying to match an amplifier up to a speaker, and then you also have to consider things like impedance and all kinds of stuff we don't have to worry about anymore because we're all using powered speakers. So watts, doesn't matter has nothing to do with loudness. So don't be fooled. That's it, quick video for you. Hope I didn't upset anybody. It's true though, ask around. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, practice and enjoy.